Hello, and welcome to the electrical section of the site. Uh, I want to cover just the basics of what it takes to troubleshoot any electrical system on a vehicle. Uh, today, uh, nowadays, a lot of things, um, a lot of the electrical parts can become a, a pretty expensive to just uh, buy one and see if it works or see if it solves your problem. Uh, such as wire power windows won't go down maybe or or uh, trying to locate a blown fuse uh, any, or even trying to find this, uh, if something is draining your battery. Uh, any number of these are all electrical, uh, any one of these and uh, uh, but the basics of what I have to show here uh, this is a 12 volt test light right here and you can see it this is probably one of the least expensive ones that you could buy it's I paid four dollars for it uh, it does the job it, it lights up with uh, with any source of voltage and there's uh, there's better ones out there better design ones for up to fourteen dollars that can actually clip around wires or wrap around wires and uh, uh, puncture through and the wire to check for voltage um, very conveniently and whatnot but this is just a basic. Uh, the, this is just a basic uh, test light, and this clip here would uh, it would just connect, it would connect to any ground, any good, clean, shiny ground on the vehicle, uh, and then this would this pick this probe right here would touch any any wire that you suspect should be hot or any wire that you know should have 12 volts. Uh, you just touch it to the, you pierce it through the wire, and it, if it lights up, then you know you have voltage in that wire. Uh, but another important thing about uh, troubleshooting electrical is the uh, is access to a wire, a good wiring diagram. Uh, these can be found in repair manuals. Uh, they can be found at libraries because uh, libraries usually have. Uh, some sort of repair manual or repair uh, automotive repair section to uh, research, uh, and how you would go about doing that is you have uh, all your symbols and whatnot, but they represent different parts of the electrical system. Anyway, uh, when you're tracing an electrical circuit, uh, all the wires are color coded on the book um, by by lettering. And you would basically trace your, um, you can probably start at the battery or so, and, or usually, or it can be a matter of locating what wire is, is uh, constantly hot or with ignition on, find a hot wire to any, whatever electrical component you're testing, uh, find the, find the wire going to it that has a, Source of voltage that lights up the your test light, uh, whether the the ignition switch may have to be to the on position, or the car hat may have to be to the on position, or it may be a consistently hot wire, whatever it is. And then from there, once you find your source, your 12 volt source to to your testing uh, to your uh, suspect, suspected fi uh, filling component, then. Uh, you would need to know what uh, color wires are going to uh, whatever destination they need to be going to, whether it be a window motor uh, off of a switch or your wiper motor, your wipers, whatever, whatever's not whatever's not working on your vehicle and the circuit you're doing. Um, then you would need you uh, you would basically see what is getting power and what's not. Um, I would do a more in-depth video on this. Uh, uh, soon, but for the most part, this is the basics of, of troubleshooting it. Uh, of course, if your test light glows very dimly, that's an indication that you have a low voltage. Uh, some cases that might not matter, uh, just as long as it's a some sort of some sort of uh, voltage uh, giving power to your component. But um, but if you know you're not if you know you're supposed to keep begin power to something and and it's not getting power, then you basically trace that wire and you find out, you look for, uh, 
the wire going past contact uh, metal spots on the vehicle or garner on the router, you look for any frayed or open wires that might be touching the metal. And that could be uh, a good uh, that that could be a good indicator of what your problem's lying. Uh, I will talk to y'all later about more in-depth electrical diagnosis.